So previously, you guys know we just finished with the 480 swap. It's officially done on the single cab. You guys know in that last episode, what we did was the, uh, the segment swap in it. So if you guys want to check out that video, that video is right here. But the truck is pretty much broken in. I've been driving it around for a few days. The trans is good to go. So the only thing left to do, fellas, is go ahead and do some pulls on it, man. Like I said, I've been driving it around the past few days and uh, the transmission is behaving overall pretty good, pretty well. Haven't really got on it yet, but that's what this video is for, right? We're gonna go ahead, do some pulls. Uh, might go out to a roll night. Uh, obviously not gonna do too much racing because it's really not that fast, man. Not yet, at least you guys know we're getting this thing ready for boost. Once it's boosted, then we'll for sure get a lot of racing content. But now it's not really that fast of a truck. It has like 300 to the wheels, 320, something like that. Nothing too crazy. I'll be going out there getting dusted. So right now, just uh, just kind of a show truck, really. It's fun, you know. Still, it's still overall pretty quick, you know. Burns the tires. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera, and uh, we'll just do a little few pulls around here. What I want to do is test out all the different gears. So three, two, and one, um, and drive. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think if I do it in three, it's probably better. But my prediction is it might be a little off because when we tuned it, we didn't do uh, any shift points or anything. So. Um, if I get on it on three, it might be a little sluggish or slow, who knows. Like I said previously, I've just been cruising it, and with that, it's been perfectly fine, so I guess we'll see once we step on it. But all that being said, fellas, welcome back to another video. You guys know I got another banger for you guys. You guys seen it, man, doing poles in a single cab. All right, so right now, let's go ahead and start her up. Got to have the valves open, of course. Right there, valves are open. See, when we first did the segment swap tune, plugged it in for the first time, it did struggle a little bit turning on. Um, I think that was just because that was the very first time that we had plugged in the computer with the new tune and whatnot. So it had to kind of adjust to it. But now, as you can see, starts right up, no issues. And it's been like that since. So we're good to go. A few people were asking about that in the comments, but we're good, man. So if I go in three, this is three right now. Ooh, y'all see it, man, she gets a little squirrely. She gets a little squirrely on your boy. Having those traction bars makes a huge difference. Getting a stall or doing a stall, do it, man. It changes the whole performance of your truck. And if anyone's wondering what stall I have, it's, uh, it's from FTI Performance. Like I said, 3600 stall, triple clutch. That triple clutch, man, once I tune it, it's gonna come super in handy. It's one of my favorite rows right here. Just because it's real nice, scenic, it's quiet, residential, perfect to uh, cause a disturbance. Can see it. 
And from that, you can tell I definitely need to mess with the shift points because it shifted into that second gear at around like 4,000 RPMs, which is way too low. But with the segment swap that I did with my boy, Johnny LSX, we didn't do the shift points or anything. We just wanted to get the trans going. And as you guys can see, that's what we did, man. I worry about the shift points once it's boosted, uh, really putting down power. So right now it doesn't really matter. It's a good little cruiser. I'm able to drive it around and do whatever I need to do. So it is what it is. It doesn't really matter though, because uh, we're gonna start tearing this thing apart in the next fucking week or two. I'll probably do, I haven't decided if yet, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go to a roll night. So I haven't decided if I wanna take this or the C6. Most likely this, just to get even more content, maybe a few more pulls, do a little donut or something. There you have it, our trans is still in one piece, as you can see. Just gotta get those shift points fixed. And then uh, that's pretty much it, man, onto the turbo. All right, fellas, and just like that, now it is night, as you can see, obviously. But like I said, man, I'm gonna go to a roll night. I decided to take out the truck, get a little more content for you guys. Might as well do some more polls, show you guys a little more of the truck. Of course, I got the uh, little GoPro Insta360 setup right here. But I won't be racing, man. If anybody wants to see races, I mean, it's not gonna do much, man. It's gonna be a bunch of like boosted cars, M3s, M4s, Mustang, Camaros. This thing is nowhere near to be uh, keeping up with those cars. So like I said, just a few more pulls, maybe a little burnout or something. So let's go ahead and do it, man. Do a little pull here, going a second. to the gas station just about to get some e85 right now fill her up i got my homie over there i'll show you guys his cars right now he got a, uh, a supercharged 5.0 so it's gonna be a fun little night man all right here i'll post it up on, right here i got the 5.0 was it ess huh ess g2 my boy ess g2 pushing seven seven low seven 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 to the wheels nothing crazy but definitely not stock <laughs> Not nah, stock. That's that's the plan. We plan to be there one day, man. We plan to be there. Going to a little roll night. You know? <laughs> oh, that's funny. You just got that? Yeah, I just got it today, yeah. bro. I just got it today. It's magnetic, so you just lock it on. Oh, it just slaps right yeah, on, huh? And then take it off and everything. It's got the thing over there. And the Cobra that just pulled up right there. Right here with the Terminator with the Whipple. Sheesh. How much power he's making, do you think? I don't know, I'm pretty sure like... At least like 400. 700. Oh, 700? Yeah, how much are you? 680? 680? Yeah. You know, drive truck, you don't spin for sure. Oh, yeah, that's my biggest. Even I have a different set of wheels that run on it. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. 305s on it, I still can't hook up the back. Yeah, no, you just leave them on. <laughs> you gotta get that drag <laughs> pack, man. Yeah.
definitely doing better than what I had expected, that's for sure. You guys seen those poles right there? I mean, my, my cousin's 5.0 has 700 to the wheels, me 300. So, I mean, obviously, you know, just having a little fun. No no competition there, but, but we're definitely gonna have to revisit that once I'm boosted, because it'll be a lot closer. I think I might even beat him, because he's a, he's an MT82, and obviously I'll be auto, so. I think it'll be neck or neck and neck or I'll probably beat them. Mini meat. Got my boys five right here at the single La Mamaloski. Go check out a few cars, get a few more poles in. We'll call it a night, man. It's nothing too crazy tonight. Looking at another ESS 50 right there. Sheesh. Oh, okay. you guys no, but I'm, I'm running in the Man. I won't be racing, man. This is where we end the night. It's a slow night, it's a slow night. All right guys, just like that, we're back the next morning. You guys see it, man, the truck runs great. At least uh, as far as for the transmission of 4 Um, you guys seen, I was pretty much just using the, uh, the gears the whole time, the three, two, one uh, in drive. Like I said, gotta mess with the shift point, so it wasn't doing too much. But y'all see, man, I was still able to bang the gears in the three, two, one setting, so what you guys think, though, man? I think it held up pretty well. Obviously, 
like I said, like I told you guys earlier, it's gonna be hard to keep up with those cars because it's really only pushing like 320 to the wheel. So nothing crazy. The main thing was making sure that 480 was good. As you guys saw, the truck held up perfectly fine the way we would want it to go. The truck made it back in one piece. So y'all see it, man. The only thing to do next, start getting this thing ready for boost. So next video, you guys can expect probably a fuel pump upgrade and uh, we got a lot more things coming, man. But that's gonna pretty much wrap this one up. Let me know in the comments what you guys' thoughts are. How the truck did i know it took a lot of ills but that was expected that's why i initially said i wasn't gonna race because you know i already knew the outcome but regardless we gave that for our lady a real good test so y'all see it man appreciate y'all for watching like comment subscribe to your boy see y'all on the next one man Peace.